Hey, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Buck Let's Play coming at you today, and looks like uh, we're playing Mob of the Dead. And of course, I don't know why I said it looks like. Obviously, I know what's going on. I wanted to share this kind of a sad catastrophe that was actually turning out to be kind of an awesome game. I really was enjoying it, but um, toward the end, I'm pretty sure it was a glitch because there's no way I could have died. As you can tell by the title, the video is called The Gondola Death or whatever I'm gonna end up titling it it was a very stupid way to die I had a lot of close calls in this game <clears throat> but um yeah I had jug and I was doing so well from so many close calls but it was it was just extremely dumb how it happened I'm pretty sure it's a glitch I'm pretty sure it's a glitch with the gondola and they need to fix it because I had jug there were no zombies in it I activated the gondola and then boom, I was just dead for no reason. So, and I'm pretty sure, I don't remember at the moment, I think I even had an afterlife left. I think I did. So, something really screwed up happened. So, anyway, I have not played Mob of the Dead a whole lot yet. Of course, you know, it just came out on the 15th for the PlayStation uh, people. And I didn't play it really at all. I bought it and installed it, but I didn't play it. The first time I played it was with a friend, and I really didn't know what I was doing. Uh, it's really this game you're seeing me play right now, and just a few others before it are really the first times I played it by myself at all. Obviously, I've I played it a little bit because you know I know what I'm doing. I know what the warden's key is. I pretty well know where all the parts are for the airplane, which is obviously what I was trying to uh, accomplish during this game. And yeah really depressing. I was hoping I'd make it farther. If I continue to play um, and I only make it as far as I did this time, I probably won't op uh, upload it to YouTube unless it's something really funny or interesting that happened. But I thought I'd go ahead and upload this entire one since I only made it to like level 8 or 9, one of the two. Not very good and I blame it on a glitch because it was just absolutely dumb. So you're gonna just kind of have to wait till the end of the video to see that or you can just skip to the end that's fine and uh, yeah I don't really know a whole lot to talk about right now I guess I can just kind of talk about some of the stuff I find any of you that are watching this that need help obviously you can see I'm in the shower room right now and uh, I opened up a cage room caged room to the back of the room before I went into afterlife as you can see I'm doing right now and then I go back there and I power up the washing machine. I don't actually turn it on, obviously you're powering it up in afterlife mode. And when you turn on the washing machine, it basically starts a cycle in the shower room. And you can't leave the shower room for like a minute or less and a bunch of zombies come. It's not really that terribly bad. Of course I had a really crappy situation, but I still made it through pretty well. But basically this is a step to getting one of the five parts of the airplane which um, happens to be, I, they're the uniforms, I believe. And once the spin cycle stops with the washing machine, you actually pick it up out of the washing machine. Here you can see I'm turning on the washing machine. Now the room, you're locked in it, you can't leave. And, uh, and then a bunch of zombies start to show up and whatnot. Pretty fun time. And here you can see I kind of panic there, like they're starting to overrun me. And, I didn't really have too much to worry about right now. I didn't think it was that bad of a situation. Mainly right before I ran in, I thought it was going to be kind of a crappy situation. But, you know, it all panned out. So, hopefully everything works out good. But, yeah, trusty old shotgun. I didn't really want to buy the shotgun, but it actually saved my life many times. I'd rather buy something else. But there's not a lot of option at this point of the game. I'm kind of following, you know, of course, I'm kind of a spoiler type person. I have a hard time finding a lot of the crap that I need to find. And I didn't want to have to find it. So I looked, you know, I kind of looked it up. And I got a pretty good system going on. I didn't really look it up. I just read some stuff about how to find it. And that helped a lot because I was having trouble finding stuff. Because believe it or not, Mob of the Dead is a pretty freaking large map, and it's not hard to get confused, but it's um, 
it's pretty easy now. I've played it two or three times and everything's kind of folding together. Now you can see I'm going down in the Citadel tunnels, I kind of connect everything. And down here is where I kind of have a really irritating moment. Because down here is where you get uh, one of the other parts. And there's a series of, you can't see them, you have to be in afterlife mode to do it. You, it's a combination. First you open that in normal life and then you're going to use the combinations to drop this spinning circular thingy in the middle to drop the part down. You have to get down there and get it within 30 seconds or it goes back to the top. Well see there's a door at the very bottom that cost a thousand to get and obviously I didn't quite see, I only have 160 points and with the shotgun there are enough zombies left to actually get those points so I don't have enough time. I actually have to go through this step twice. So there you can see I typed in the combination. The numbers are on the sides of the walls as you run down the spiral stairs. And then here you can see I'm trying to get back to my body and then it's like, oh no, I realize I don't have enough points and I've only got like 30 seconds to actually go and get the part before it goes back to the top. And um, yeah, so I like hope that there's a crap load of zombies hopefully I can get the points and obviously I don't and I have actually one of my first close calls here in a little bit but not quite yet here I am running to the bottom I'm like oh god I hope there's a lot of time left and then yeah less than 30 seconds and uh, oh I got the shotgun and I was like oh I'll pull the pistol out and get a bunch of points like yeah it's not gonna do any good I actually have to kill them it's like okay let's rack up the points we got time we can do this and then I finally realized it's not possible. My next uh, plan was actually to run back to the top. As you can see, actually not quite yet. I'm going to go down here and see how much time there is left. And then, yeah, not enough time. So I get ready to run back up. And I'm going to try to run to the top and get into afterlife mode and go ahead and activate it again. But then I um, actually end up getting down halfway up the stairs. Which, it's okay, because, you know, it's not like I have any perks. That's what I found out about the game. I didn't know a whole lot at the moment, but you uh, actually get to keep your perks when you go down, only if you shock yourself. If you get down by the zombies, you lose your perks, which is kind of ridiculous. But I thought, well, at least they let you keep your perks when you go down into afterlife. But here, here you can see I got stuck. But I don't have any perks, you know, it's like, whatever. I needed to go down anyway. And, of course, I, confused as usual, I run the wrong direction. Now I'm going to run down, there's a new combination, and I have to type that in to get the stupid thing to go down, but at least this time I've got 1400 points so I can open the door, type in the combination, and then I run like crazy for that door and I grab that part and boy I'm out of there quickly. And it's like, oh, nope, not around that corner, thought I was there, anyway. Alright, reviving myself, now we're running back down the stairs loading the shotgun I'm expecting a bunch of zombies but of course there aren't any so now we can open the door Uzi to the right I actually want to buy it pretty badly because this shotgun is not gonna cut it here in a little bit anyway use the warden's key open that up and boom you got your second part and I was expected to be like overrun by zombies in that area but I got pretty lucky there weren't very many and sadly, I really wanted to open those doors to get out of here, but 2,000 points, and with only 500 points in your inventory with a shotgun, it's just not going to happen. They actually, what I wanted to do, for those of you who are new to the Mob of the Dead, down there where I was just at, I actually don't want to leave the area quite yet, because I need to, there's this generator that I need to shock three different or maybe more than three different machines and it there's a room in the warden's office that's electrified and that's where one of the next parts are in order to get through that electrified door you have to disable it from down here and I wanted to do that before going back up but later on in the round I realized I can't really do that I only had one afterlife left and I really didn't want to uh, risk it so I thought I'll just come back to get that part but that's when I get ready to go up the gondola, and with one afterlife and even Jug, I die instantly with no zombies around. But here we are, we're kind of getting into that crappy position where I was earlier. Um, I really didn't know if I'd make it from this point, because all I have is this stupid shotgun. I can't open the door, and there's a crap load of zombies around me. I thought, oh, oh come on, let's teleport them. And for some reason they're not teleporting, but that's okay. It didn't really matter because the, they randomly teleport, and sometimes they teleport right next to you. It's kind of a sucky situation. 
and there's where I got really lucky. I just kind of ran around the corner, and actually the luckiest part of the game, probably the reason I actually make it through this part, I get an insta kill, and I switch to my pistol, and boy, I mow him down like crazy, and that was just great. It was a great feeling. It's like, oh yeah, I'm going to make it now. But there we go. Now I've got over 2,000 points. I decide, yeah, I want the Uzi. I don't want to open the gates yet. I'll just get the Uzi. I'll make it a little further. So there we go. Now we have almost no points. Well, we have some, but not enough to be useful. See through to the right there is where I need to go to activate those generators. And actually, there's an afterlife thing in there where I could put myself down and do it. But, of course, it costs 1,500 points to open that. And there's 2,000 points between me and going out there. So, it's like, well, I'm going to have to defend in here again. At least I have the Uzi, which is not going to help that much because it doesn't carry enough rounds, for my personal opinion. It goes through them way too quickly. But, it's a lot better than that shotgun. With that shotgun, I probably wouldn't have made it very far. But here in a little bit, as soon as I hit 2,000 points, you will tell I'm out of there. I'm straight out the door. There's no way I'm staying in there much longer. And then, of course, I go down again. That's where I think, oh, yep, I'm screwed. There's no way I'm going to be able to get myself back up because I'm probably going to be overrun with zombies. But luckily, there weren't hardly any there, so let's revive. And right about now is where I'm kind of panicking. I'm like, come on, get the 2,000. I need to get the heck out of here. And, um, yeah. And I kill this one, open the gates, and out I am. There's Jug. And here in a little bit, I end up getting down. It's actually kind of funny. I actually get a nuke. I actually get to the nuke, and they're all dead, but then they kill me. But it didn't matter because I kind of wanted to um, activate Jug and uh, actually, yeah, actually that's all I could activate. No, the gondola. I also activate the gondola, which is kind of useful. But anyway, activating Jug, doing all this stuff that would be really useful to do while I'm dead. And then heal myself. And then of course a new round began. I have one more afterlife. Kind of a sucky situation, but... Of course, there's another part down there in the lower part of the docks, which I actually have to open with the warden's key, the gates, and then I actually have to power it up. And then it's actually one of the easiest ones to get. But I end up not being able to get it either because I kind of panic. I only have one afterlife. But um, it's actually... I'm not quite there yet because at this point I'm not really panicking. I'm thinking I'll be able to do all this before I leave the area. But here in a little bit it gets kind of a sticky situation. I figure, you know what, instead of risking it, I'm just going to get the heck out of there. But right now I'm thinking I can do it. Right now I jump. It's like, okay, it's time to trade this shotgun in for the Thompson. Get that Thompson and I'll be great. And then, of course, I get up to the gun and then I think I buy it. And I don't buy it. I didn't get it. And I panic and run. Probably a good thing because there was a crap load of them coming. I think here pretty quickly I'm going to get down again, and that, yeah, right about here. Right through that gate there is where you get the next part, by the way. And anyway, this is when I think, yep, I'm definitely done. I'm screwed. But I'm actually not. I actually get very, very lucky. And as you can see here, I run around. It's like, oh, God, i got to get out of here. And funny enough, I don't leave. I actually train them up the stairway. I figure... Pretty much all of them behind me. They're not going to come up anywhere to the left or right. So I'm going to try to mow them down. Let them come towards me a little bit. Then I'm going to try to get to that Thompson again. Which is actually... This is all getting right to the part where I start to panic. And it's like, you know what? I can't get the parts right now. I'm just going to try to mow these down and get out of here. So I got the Thompson. And of course, I have no afterlife. So it's like, yeah, I need to get out of here. And now that I think about it, I probably don't have another afterlife. I don't have it now, and obviously I don't have it when I get on the gondola. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. That's another reason why the game ended. But I had Jug, and there were no zombies around, and I died. So that's what really irritated me. And there's Nuke. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm just contradicting myself. I did have an afterlife when I end up dying stupidly in the gondola. But this is the point where I think, well, I need to let my um, afterlife stock up a little bit. I go and grab Jug, and then I go to the gondola, and I get the heck out of here. Even though I probably... Well, no, I couldn't. I thought I could... I could have grabbed the part down by the dock, but I couldn't have got the uh, generators going. Anyway, here it goes. I activate it, and boom, I am down. What is up with that? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. Have a wonderful day.